What is going on there guys? Welcome back here for some more Java tutorials with me basic coding sa YouTube channel and with Java programming tutorial. So guys, bago tayo magsimula, I just want to mention something na remember when we are creating classes. So in that classes, meron tayong me methods, di ba? You know that. For example, method uh, public, for example, public, for example, um, public void, then say um, hello diba may basta ang point ko is may mga methods that don't from that class so from the methods from that class we don't uh, put static so na guess na yung ano static cause the methods from that class we are creating instances of an object or we are creating objects para magamit natin yung methods na yon so from the previous tutorials ng previous previous tutorials in functions we put static cause para hindi na tayo mag-create ng instance ng object and magamit agad natin yung functions without creating the instance of an object. So, yun. Nag-guess na. So, yun. As I said, mag-guess na rin yan once we tackle more about things in Java. So, a new topic for today is the array list. So, ano, ano nga bang array list? Basically, think of an array list is like, it's like um, a collection. A collection. So, collection lang siya. O pinakaiba niya usually um, basically sa arrays. Ang arrays kasi um, nag-ano ng size, di ba? Then sa collections, we declare an array list then kahit dagdagan natin, kahit add lang tayo ng items, it doesn't matter because it doesn't um, iniintindi yung size. Once na nagdagdagan tayo, dagdag lang tayo ng dagdag. And we can also remove and we, I'll let you... Um, I'll uh, pakita ko sa inyo yung mga iba-ibang kakayahan na gawin sa mga uh, sa array list. So basically, array list is um, also a data structure in Java. So ano nga ba ang data structure? Um, data structures ang mga, for example, applying algorithms or some sort, ganyan, para to manipulate data or to do something with your data. So ganun. Basically, um, a data structure. So, ganun. So, uh, how to declare an uh, array list? So, array list declare. So, ganito. You just type array list. <coughs> Ganyan. So, less than and greater than. So, in this part, inside this less than and greater than, you put your, kumbaga, just like the array, your data type. Pero, we don't put int. We put, um, it is a rule kasi, as I pagkakaalam ko, that we put um, objects, objects, ganyan. So, parang objects of classes or the classes, instances of the classes. So, an object rep representation of our basic variables, for example, float, double, uh, string, ganyan. So, in integer, capital I, then integer, ganyan. So, in float, float, then double, ganyan, then string, ganyan, ganyan, and so on. So, for Boolean, I think it's like that. So, Ganun. Basta, ganun, guys. Ganun sa integer, just capitalize. So, let's, an example, let's just take an example of integer. Then, a reference variable, for example, um, um, age. A list of age. So, reference variable is equal to new array list. Ganyan. Then, open and closing parentheses. So, may um, error, just press Ctrl Shift I to import the array list package or yes the java that util that array list so we are just importing that package para magamit natin yung array list so magtatanong kayo um pwede ba dito maglagay ng integer just to be sure integer integer yes pwede pero it causes oops yes oops mali pala yung nalagyan ko <laughs> so dito pala yun so integer nagkakosa ng warning cause um, it is redundant. So, ang bang meaning na redundant? Parang, parang, it doesn't matter kasi guys kung nalagay ko dyan or hindi. It doesn't really matter kung nalagay ko dyan hindi. So, okay na to. This is already okay. So, in this tutorial, um, let's just discuss on how to add so, and add and remove. So, basic add and remove with an integer um, type in our array list. So, ganun. And how to print. Paano natin ma-print yun. So let's you just use you just use your your reference variable age. So age is our reference variable to array list dot. So, so eto na. These are all the um, methods or the functions in our array list 
um, the, from our, our, our list. So, eto, add. So, basically, kung maglalagay tayo dito ng, for example, string, string to, automatic na yan, na kailangan natin is, um, i-add is of string type. So, eto, add all, clear, clone, contains, blah, blah, blah. So, may mga meaning naman. So, eto ang kaganda ng IDE because it gives you the meaning yung mga, anong ibig sabihin ng ano. So, remove, remove, ganyan, ganyan. So, let's just add for example, let's add an integer, for example, of 100. And let's, let's add, oh, but add age that add, let's make it uh, 20, let's just make it 19 para maging precise tayo. Then don't forget the semicolon, then add, then ganyan, for example, uh, 21, ganyan. So let's just add again that add, then 22. So ganyan. So basically, you can... You can just think of it your, that you have a collection of data 19, 20, 21, 22. Pero guys, I hope you understand um, uh, arrays in Java or the arrays data structure. So, just like arrays, ito, this, once we add um, data from our array, array list, usually, kung maga meron din siyang index, parang sa array, so basically this is index 0. Then, this is index 1, then index 2, then index 3. So, it starts with, um, gaya rin sa arrays, with the indexing, starts with 0. So, ganun lang naman, ganun lang naman. Yun lang naman ang tatandaan nyo about yan. Yung, yung kung similarities of array list and arrays is the index. So, how do we print it in the screen or in just simply in our console? So, we just... Um, type, uh, for example, let's just declare integer i, then, then, then we will be using the for loop just like in arrays. So for int i, oh, you can, you can naman gawin nyo. So for i is equal to 0, cause we're, alam nyo na to, um, if you know about this nine array, so I hope you watch my tutorials in arrays in Java. So I'll, I explain ko dyan kung paano ko talaga, I, I mean, kung paano talaga print sa screen yung yung mga data. So, i is less than you, i is less than so, di ba, in arrays you just type um, kung ilan kung ilan. For example, um, 4, apat sila. So, we just type 4. Pero, there, there is an in ano, in array list. So, we just type age dot size. So, basically, it returns the size of our array list. So, what if kung nagdagdag tayo ng isa pang h dot, example, add uh, 23, ganyan. So, this will be index 4, 4. So, basically, ito lang yung ina natin kanina, which is apat lang. So, it will return a uh, size of 4. So, what if kung nagdagdag tayo, then, lima na. So, it can account yan, it returns na the actual size. So, then, i plus plus. So, that's just system, a basic system that out that print lane, system that out that print lane. Let's also print the location or the index. So, for example, index, index, ganyan. So, index, ganyan, then, then I, of course, then plus, then what, what should we, I know, um, what should we, for example, index here, then, then index, pano nga yung guys yung ano, index, the index i, then index 0, um, index 0 equals, equals, then some sort na ganyan, then um, we use the age that get i, ganyan, so age that get i, so basically parang sa ano, I'm mean, just really thinking about yung <coughs> excuse me, kung paano yung format. So, index i, basically, print lang naman dito yung yung value ng i, then equals, this in this part, it gets the data. So, age that get i. So, syempre, sa simula, ang value ng i natin is 0. So, unang kukunin is eto, then mag-loop, blah, 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 then increment, alam nyo na yan. Magiging 1 yung i, kukunin naman itong index 1, hanggang kukunin yung index 2, 3, 4. Hanggang sa mag 
false na to, mangyayari na mag-false to kasi when the value of i will be equal to 4. So, 4 is less than 4 is not actually true. So, it will be false. So, that time na mag to terminate or mag start in for loop. So, run the file. So, diba? Oops, let's just make um, a space here para at least maganda. So, run the file. So, index 0 is basically 19. So, index 1 is 20. Tama ba? Check nyo guys. Index 2 is 21. 3 is 22. Yes, it's correct. It's correct. Tama. So, what if ganito guys? What if... Mm, so, let's try the remove. So, last, last part is what if we remove um, a specific um, index? So, example, remove natin tong um, eto, dito lang tayo mag-remove. So, what if rem like add tayo, di ba, ng lima by lima. So, apat na index because it starts with zero. What if remove natin yung 20? So, let's just use again the reference variable h dot remove. So, in this part, you just type just type the index. So, remove 1. So, for, if nangyari to, check out the uh, output. So, check out the output guys. Index 0 equals 19. Tama siya. Index 0 equals 19. Index 1 equals 21. Check out. Uh, index 1 equals, which is, ang index 1 natin was 20. So, you, pero dito sa pagprint natin, index 1 na is equal to 21. So, you guessed it. It takes, uh, rene replace, kumbaga, di ba, ito yung remove natin. Wala na to, since ito na yung nangyari, remove natin. So, yung 21 na value natin, it, it will take the position, yung bakante. Then, syempre magiging bakante na rin to, yung index 2. Syempre, yung index 3 naman, or your data 22 natin, is magtitake naman yung position ng um, index 2, then and so on and so on. Kumbaga, yun na nga, for example, ulitin ko, for example, etong, di ba nawala to? Nawala yung, yung 20 natin, age 20. So, bagante na siya. So, mag lang siya or it take place lang yung position na may mga bakanteng slots. Kumbaga, so, 21, uh, 20, the position of the, the value of 21 will be now in index 1, so bakante na to, and 22 na of index 3 will take the position of index 2, tama, then bakante na to, then age 23 of index 4 will not take the position of index 3 which was, ano dati, 22, so paano kung marami yan, pareho lang naman, so what if kung magdagdag tayo ng ano, example age that add, example 24, 24. So, this is index 5. So, hindi na natin kailangan again mag-set ng age dito kasi um, it returns na automatic na the actual age. So, ganyan. So, alisin ko to. Alisin natin to. For another example, run file. So, check nyo. Index 0, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 20. Oh, tama. 20, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So, what if inalis natin yung 20? So, di ba? 19. So, index 1 na is 21. Again, then, nag, nag, it takes place. Nag-aabante siya, kumbaga. It didn't take yung mga slots. So, dati, index 22 na. Index 2, which is 21 kanina, equals 22 na. Kasi nga, it takes the slots. Kung ano man ang bakante. So, ganun na naman guys ang array list. So, thank you guys for watching this video tutorial. So, I hope na Intindihan nyo yung pinag-explain ko. So, if you have questions, just comment down below. So, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Hope you'll subscribe. Thanks!